had. Now, that was the first he heard of it. But it's not the last, because now Amanda wants him to be a full-time father. Come on in, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, so you and Dean were what? Workmates? Yeah. Who came on to who? I came on to him. You did? Yeah. Okay, so then did you, what was the next day at work like? Um, horrible. Why? Um, people just kept picking, because I don't know why, but they just picked on him for going with me. Right. And then Did anyone say anything to you? No, not really. Okay. So I just heard it, people talking about it. And what was Dean like towards you with all this? I, don't, I didn't talk to him after that night. What <laughs> happened as a result of that one night stand? I got pregnant. So did you phone him, tell him? What? No, I got pregnant um, I denied. People said it was his baby and I said it wasn't. Why did you say it wasn't his baby? Because he got picked on for going with me. So you thought you'd keep it quiet? Yeah. If you could have a relationship with him, would you? OK, well, waiting backstage right now is Dean. He's just moments away from confronting Amanda. He's got a few things he wants to put right. Please welcome Dean. <laughs> so, what do you want to say to him? How do you want me to prove to you that he's your son? DNA test. I want you to prove it before well, my dad. I've already said to you, Amanda, that I'm prepared to face up to my responsibilities, you know what I mean, and be a dad, as long as you tell me that I'm... I've told oh, I am his that. dad. I've told you, you that. Told you only me. have to look at him, Dean. You told me, but that yeah, woman but over there can no, tell you that I've got, that she's got a kid. I'm not going to believe her, am I? Well, Dean comes on and he is very active, very defensive. He's got a very strong personality, very outgoing, and I believe that's one of the things Amanda is attracted to. This image that he has of quite a wild man with lots of wild energy who wants to sow wild seeds as well. She came on to you? She just told you that five minutes ago. <laughs> she came on to you? You want me to go into detail? Who? You're okay. Where were you? I was in bed. I was already in bed. She was after me all night. Do you want me to say? I was already I in bed. I was already in bed, right? She was after me all night. Um, she came in the room, stripped off naked and got into bed with me. And that is a God's honest truth. And neither of no, you used any precautions? Well, no, I'm not exactly going to run to the nearest chemist when I'm like, can't even walk, am I? Some of the attraction that a man has for Dean, I believe, is based on the fact that Dean is something of a bad boy. And often, there's nothing more attractive than a bad boy who makes good. And if she can be the one to tame him and make him a good boy, then it's a wonderful catch for her. Yeah, she so, said, did you have any feelings for her? No, it was a one-night stand. Did you care? Yeah, it was one night stand, then why has it happened again? Well, because you know what happened again. You wanted sex, I wanted sex. No, not even, drunk. not even bother. <laughs> not even bother. Sex is good, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So we had sex. So why is it it's good. Happening, then? Sex is good. Did you use precautions the second time around? No. Amanda very strongly wants to be in a relationship with Dean, and she's finding it very difficult to take. And the other thing that we heard from Amanda is she seems to still have feelings for you. Mm. What do you want to say to her about that? I've already told her that I don't have feelings for her. I've already said that. He doesn't have feelings for me, but yet he wants me to move in with him. Really? No, because I want to be there for James. I want to stand up for my responsibility. If the boy's mine, my dad left me when I was one, right? Well, I'll, I'll resent my old man. I'm talking now, innit? So shut your coat. <laughs> one of the things about Dean is that he's giving very strong mixed messages to Amanda. And some of the messages he's giving are that he wants to have a house with her, but he doesn't want a relationship. And I think that feeds in very much to the desire in her to have him. So if they can live together, she's got a chance. She's got a chance of perhaps seducing him, perhaps showing him how much that she could be good for him. So, first part of this is the lie detector test. We'll get you to go off and take that, and then we'll go on to the next bit, which is working out the DNA part of this, OK? Right. And we'll catch up with you later, and we'll take it on from there, what happens when...